Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another quick flutter tutorial. In the last video, I showed you how to use the bottom navigation bar. So today let's focus our attention to the top part of the screen. And so the widget of the day is the app bar. So let me show you how to use this by jumping into the code. So I've got here just a blank scaffold. And if you look at the options, the first one should be an app bar. And so let's fill this out. Without specifying anything to do with this app bar, if you save this, you should get a blue app bar at the top, which is just the default Flutter color. So if I want to change the color, you can see in the options, we can specify this background color. And if I just say red, then we can change the color like this. Now, I think it's worth pointing out in the scaffold, you can actually specify a theme for the entire app. So if I just show you real quick, you can specify this theme data. And if you say primary swatch and you pick a color, say for example, green, then this will automatically make the app bar as well as all the other little parts of the app green. So this way you can specify the main color for the entire app. So keep that in mind. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna get rid of this theme and we're just gonna do everything inside the app bar. So we can specify the background color to be deep purple, which is like my favorite color. And one of the other options that you should know is this elevation. So if you hover over it, it should say some default value is, there it is, the default value is four. And the elevation, basically what it is, is how elevated the app bar is. And it creates a bit of a shadow. So for my apps, I tend to like having an elevation of just zero, so it's just flat. So it's a very minor thing, but maybe if I show you with a transparent color, you should be able to see. So yeah, elevation of zero means it's just flat on the ground. But if I have elevation of four, it kind of elevates itself and it creates a bit of a shadow effect. So it just depends on the design that you're going for, but I like to have the elevation to be zero, just a nice clean flat style. Now you can specify the title, which is a text widget. So inside here, let's say you can put in whatever you want. Let's just say app bar. And there it is. And a couple more important things that you can specify is the first one is this leading widget. So let's just give it an icon. And for the on press for now, let's just make it do nothing. And the icon, I'm gonna specify the menu icon. Seems appropriate. So if I save this, the leading widget is, you can see there it's on the very left hand side. So in this on press function, you can you can make something happen if the user taps on it. So in this case, the most common application of this button would be to open up a drawer, like a menu drawer. And for that one, I'm going to cover in the next video because that's a separate widget on its own. And then you can specify actions, which are basically widgets that you can have on the right side of the title. So if I just copy the same icon and instead, let's say share, the ones inside actions are the ones on the right hand side of the title. And one thing to note about actions is it's a list, so you can have a few buttons in there. So you can see with Flutter how easy it is to create a basic app bar. Now, as I mentioned before, opening up the menu is a separate widget called a drawer. So I'm going to cover that just in the next video tomorrow. There are other really cool things that you can do with a app bar. For example, there's something called a sliver app bar, which we can customize the hell out of this app bar. And I'm gonna show you in the next couple of videos, but I just wanted to have this app bar tutorial as a standalone video just to help beginners out. But from this point onwards, now let's start to turn up the complexity dial and I can show you some real cool things that you can do in Flutter. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters.